Hello, good morning. Welcome back to Gainer's Happy Place and Theme Thursday. And thanks to the lovely Jay who sent this beautiful dress in my uh, Happy Mail yesterday. I've been able to dress Riley for the theme of llamas. So uh, let's take a closer look at her. And this dress is just stunning. Look at that, it's covered in beautiful llamas and it even has silver glitter. So just love this dress, it's beautiful. And uh, if it wasn't for Jay, I wouldn't have been able to do this uh, theme at all because I don't have anything else with llamas on. So she's still wearing her long socks with the ribbons on and uh, she's now got a pair of plimsolls with the hungry caterpillar on so those are her shoes now the other theme was catch up and um, last week's theme was dolls with dolls so i've decided to do catch up from last week and dolls with dolls so if we come across here i've got nancy and I wanted to show you her, if I just come down, because of this pretty dress I found in my clothing haul. Um, sorry about my shaking hand there. So uh, there's her dress. It's covered in uh, flowers and that's got, <laughs> matches uh, Riley's, it's got silver thread on as well. So, but what I wanted to show you, was these because I just love them I found her look at this a pair of socks with pom-poms on how cute are those just love them she looks lovely and also this is her doll and this is the third in my handmade dolls and this is the ballerina so She's got flowers in her hair, she's got sequins sewn on the top, she's got her tutu, she's got a ballet shoes there with matching sequins and if I turn around she's got a hair in a bun like most ballerinas and there's the ribbons on the back of her shoes. So that's the third one in my handmade dolls. So Let's go and see what other dolls I've got for Dolls with Dolls. So these are the second two dolls I wanted to show you of Dolls with Dolls. And these are my largest Annette Hempstead dolls sitting in the chair in the bedroom. They've got the uh, large horse, as you can see my rocking horse there, next to them. But they sit in this... Uh, wicker chair and then when the summer comes I hide them away because of the light but um, these are um, never changed I never take them out of these clothes because uh, that's what the artist uh, wanted them in when she made them so that's how they stay and um, I think I've told some people before if you've seen my earlier videos that um, First of all, you joined Annette's club. She doesn't make dolls anymore. She stopped selling them. But uh, you bought the little one to join the club. You were sent that one. And then once you'd received that one, you were then able, if there were still any left, because her dolls sold out in seconds, to purchase the larger ones. So um, these are the largest two I have left now. I used to have a lot, lot more and a lot bigger ones. Um, but the boxes, you're talking at uh, nearly 40 inch a box. So imagine lots of those boxes. They took up ever such a lot of room. So um, I stopped collecting the larger ones. But this one was one of my first and was my absolute dream doll. I waited ages and ages and ages for her. Look at those eyes. She was one of my first, before I even knew about Reborns, when I was collecting dolls, 
she was one that I absolutely just really wanted and uh, I had to be really patient and wait. Annette's dolls have human hair, that hair is human and uh, as you see the detail that she puts into the clothes is just amazing and then that's the little one she has painted eyes that's the only difference between the two she has just painted eyes um coming down to her hands and then there's a skirt which is like a, a ballerina skirt with all those little ribbons on but yeah this is the doll that my sister doesn't like dolls she's not into dolls at all but she told me that if um, I decided to sell this one or to get rid of her she wanted it so that just tells you tells you she doesn't like dolls at all but she doesn't want me to get rid of this one so Annette always signed in gold the bottom of the shoes so that's her and her name is, I should have brought out the certificate, I'm so silly. If I can, I'll put a photo of the certificate at the end. But her name is something like, forgive me for all the German people out there, but it's something like Himmelschlusselslen. Yeah, I'll, um, I'll get the certificate out, I'll put a photograph at the end of this video. And then this is my other one. She usually wears a large summer hat. But I've took it off her today to show you her face more. This is exactly how she came to me. I wouldn't even change the hair. I don't touch them. These are display dolls. These dolls are just displayed. And uh, with my Reborns, that's why I don't buy really high-end Reborn dolls. Because um, changing the clothes, especially now I'm making videos... I um I don't want to spoil the vinyl so I don't buy really really expensive reborn dolls because I'm changing the clothes so much um that's my personal choice but everybody obviously is different um as you see there look she's got cotton bloomers on and stockings and then she's got oh sorry she's got these stockings as well all socks and then her shoes are suede and then same she's got the name on the bottom so yeah because I'm changing my reborn so much I know I've got a silicone one and you won't see her changed quite as much but um, these dolls like I said because of the price of them and uh, yeah these are just kept on display so uh, on to the next one. So here are two more of my Annette Hempstead, the larger ones, and they're holding the tiny dolls as well. But the tiny dolls don't belong to them. Uh, each one of these small ones have got um, a full-sized one that goes with it, which I don't have. I just have these small ones. Um, like I said, I used to have more, but there's... Uh, the boxes were just too big to store. I mean, the boxes for each big one is about 30 odd inches, um, sometimes larger. So I stopped collecting the bigger ones and then started collecting the small ones. But as you see, she's got the uh, the tiny porcelain little uh, bead there. And she's got um, another one at the back, a little bear, you can see there. The detail in the clothing in these dolls is just incredible and that's why, like I said, I never change them because they stand alone, they're a work of art um, and like a painting, you wouldn't change a painting. So um, I don't change the dolls. So that's that one and then there's the little boy here. Um, I've got the full sized one, his sister, which you've seen before, and uh, she's holding a small one like this, but uh, as a girl. So this is her brother, but with the brother, I only have the tiny one, not the full sized one. He's got a blanket that goes with him. 
and then there's this one which she also has a full-sized um, doll that goes with her but again I've only got the small one and um, if I bring this one up if I stand her up I'll give you a closer look at her details as you see she's got a bead there we go that's quite a heavy porcelain bead so you have to be careful because these can easily get broken she's got um, stockings on and uh, suede boots there we go and um, I think she's got another bead has she at the back yes there's the one at the back she's got long human hair again and a hood and the most pretty let me bring her down pretty little face there you go you can see her face there and then Maril let me bring her up she's got two beads as well she's got this one which is a little pram and then if you turn around she's got one at the back somewhere there it is she's got a little one there she's got a hair in plaits there we go and uh, her face is beautiful love her face I've had her for ages she's one of my oldest ones um, so that's those So that's my theme Thursday video today and uh, thank you very much for joining me and I hope to see you all again soon. Until then, bye.